So the top three challenges for CSB really in the next year or so are going to be all data related. So you've got this massive growth in data which is still going on and will continue in the next year. So you're looking at things like LTE rollout to come and address that and that's going to be a real challenge for them. And you're looking in terms of the monetization of those data services, so how are you going to pay for the increased uh, network capacity you're going to need. That's going to be a significant challenge for operators in the next year or so and we're seeing them react to that already. CM has been around for some time and I think uh, CSPs are already addressing it, but I think the sophistication of the systems which they're putting in place to address it have increased. So service assurance is really, is really sort of the natural uh, predecessor to uh, customer experience management or CEM. They looked at networks, looked at services, now looking at customer, customer experience. It's quite complicated stuff. You're dealing with lots more data points in terms of where the customer interacts with the service provider. It's not just the network, it's the service, uh, service reps as well. It's the web, etc., etc., etc. Gathering all that data is a real challenge for operators, and then simulating it and, uh, into a single uh, system and looking at changes of the quality and stuff and reacting to it is, is a very aggressive uh, thing to do. It's expensive, and the ability for an operator to address that has really been dictated by the cost of dealing with it. So it's only now we're seeing the system price has fallen, enable them to actually address it in any meaningful way. CSPs are starting to manage their data successfully. I think they've got a long way to go. Things like policy-based billing are one of the things that's just really started coming out last year. Some new and very innovative services being based around that. But it's only really the start of it. And we're seeing you know, uh, companies, different parts of the globe doing it in slightly different ways, different drivers. But effectively, it opens up all sorts of possibilities to help monetize that data. And that really has been the primary driver over the last year. And we anticipate that for the next few years being the, the critical uh, two systems, policy, policy management and billing together to enable the, uh, the new and innovation uh, services to, uh, to come into play for monetizing this, this massive data growth which is going on. The trends in the next three to five years I think are going to drop into several camps. One of which is obviously you've got to deal with the, the large data services. So anything in, in terms of monetizing that data, dealing with the new networks which are rolling out to support those data services, certainly one trend which is going to continue for the next few years. Um, also, there is still cost takeout which is going to take place with OSS and BSS. So you're seeing you know, maybe a move, and this is sort of an ongoing thing that's been happening a number of years, people implementing best of suites, not just best of pro products in terms of points, point products. So uh, amalgamating a number of areas in terms of BSS and OSS to try and take some of the cost out of it. So you're seeing, for example, within billing, you're seeing convergent billing, for example, where postpaid and prepaid billing systems are coming together in a convergent system to try and take some cost out, also providing, by the way, some innovation in terms of the data service types they can deal with. 